cookie delivery person that was bessie she sent me some instructions in my mailbox and supposedly i am going to be tracking down and summoning in a whirlpool monster luckily i do have this ginormous beast of a butterfly leviathan dragon that should be able to help me out today ow okay that kind of hurt before we check that out ladies and gentlemen i need your guys support you guys have been absolutely destroying my light bulb record on this series so ladies and gentlemen i would love it if today somehow possibly Possibly we could hit 30,000 likes in the first day. To make it a little bit more challenging, I need you guys to figure out a way to hit the like button with your right nostril. I don't know if that's even physically possible, but good luck. All right, Bessie's mailbox. What do we have? We have a quest book. I've already done a few different quests for Bessie, and normally the rewards are pretty worth it. But, okay, we have a wanted page. The Chari Bidis. Dangerous whirlpool monster. Keep your distance. Spawn instructions. Feed a whirlpool, the heart of the sea, to unleash the beast. Love this. Is that some sort of code? Uh, why, why did I say code so weird? Is that some sort of code? Because I don't understand. I've never seen a whirlpool in Minecraft. But ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter because the first thing we have to do is go over to Amity. Amity, do you have any hearts of the sea in here? Normally we find them through buried treasure and it looks like we have a couple treasure chests. Let's go see. Okay, one treasure chest. Uh, we got an emerald second treasure chest. We got a diamond. What about lock boxes? What are these? What, 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 what is a lock box? I got a compass. I got a book. What about a box? Just a normal box. I doubt this will have the heart of the sea in it, but I guess it was worth a shot. I got clay balls. I do know for a fact that if I grab a ton of raw cod and feed it to a wild group of dolphins, they might bring me to the heart of the sea. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys see anything that resembles a whirlpool in today's episode, I need you guys to leave a comment down below. I've honestly never seen one in Cookie Craft, but if Bessie says it's a thing, it's probably real. Or she could be trolling me. Bessie tends to do that a lot. Wait a second, guys. Bessie's calling again. What's up, Bessie? <laughs> Okay, okay, so I have to travel really far away, and then the whirlpool will be somewhere in the deep ocean. Got it. All right, cool. Do I get cookies? <laughs> Come on, Bessie, I'm doing this for the cookies. If there is not cookies in my mailbox, by the time I've killed this thing, we're gonna have a problem. That's right, I can't even slam my phone. Okay, because we have to travel super far away, I'm going to need Nightwing. Catch me, Nightwing! Oh, crap, that was not a good idea. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go find this whirlpool. Also, if I see any dolphins, I need to start feeding them fish. They'll lead me straight to the buried treasure, which should have the heart of the sea. I think we made it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, yeah, whoa, this looks like a massive ocean. Sweet. Okay, we actually do indeed have a sunken ship over here. Sometimes these will have buried treasure chests that'll lead me to other buried treasure. In the deep oceans, there are other wild creatures, some that I really haven't seen before. We have sirens here. We also have other wild butterfly leviathan dragons. So we're gonna need to make sure to keep Tidal Wave out at all points. Tidal Wave? Yes, thank you, Tidal Wave. Here you go, have some fishies. Your job is very simple. Protect me at all costs, please. I have a special set of armor on and also a turtle shell as my cap, which should help me breathe underwater down here. It is so dark. Okay, we have our first chest. Can I please, can I open the chest? Is it locked? Is there a key? Whoa, okay, wait, wait, okay. Please, do, should I mine it? Oh, no, no. Never mind. Oh, buried treasure map. Perfect. We have chance cubes too. These things are super valuable. Okay, the buried treasure, it looks like isn't super far from me. In another chest, we have lots of paper and suspicious stew. I am not going to touch the suspicious too. It's too suspicious. But ladies and gentlemen, now that we have the buried treasure map, I need to figure out where I am. So if you guys look in the top left hand of the map, it seems like I am the little tiny white dot. If I had to guess, we should have to move that way to the edge of this little map. Mesa Peninsula. Let's go over here and see if I'm correct. So I think the clear areas on this map are the ocean, or I could just be going in the complete opposite direction. Do you guys see something that says Kraken on the top of the screen? I did not sign up to fight a Kraken today. It's also dying. Something is eating a Kraken right now. If something's eating a Kraken, it could very soon be eating me. So we're just gonna keep moving along until I figure out where this buried treasure chest is. Oh, snap! No, 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 no! 
I saw, I saw a butterfly leviathan. I don't know if you guys can tell. They are so good at camouflaging in the water. It's directly over there in the coral reef. I really hope my buried treasure is not over there. I don't think it is, so we will be on our way this way, far away. It's getting nighttime too. This is the worst time to treasure hunt. Oh, wait a second. I'm starting to pop up on the map. Okay, what if I go this way? That doesn't seem right. What about this way? It's super difficult to drive a dragon while also trying to navigate a map. Okay, so I'm moving down when I go this way. Oh, what is that? We got piranhas. If I go back to shore, oh my gosh. Okay, so I got tinier. So it looks like it's across the ocean. What are you guys doing? Get away from me. Tidal wave attack. Bite them. Bite them all. Yo, two hit KO. <laughs> that is so sick. Oh my gosh, we have, a, we have a group of piranhas behind me. Not cool. We're getting really deep out into the open ocean and it just skeeves me out. I don't like it at all. It makes me feel weird. That's okay. No, no, we're, we're fine. All of the dragons should be sleeping. There are apparently whirlpools out here, so I need to be a little bit wary of that. Also, I think uh, Tidal Wave is getting attacked by a trident, which is <laughs> probably not the best thing. Oh, the map's starting to light up. This has to be it. This is, okay, okay. So it should be right up here. Hold on, we're getting closer. Yes, okay, this is it. This is the encampment. Okay, so if I travel right over here, I think the buried treasure should be right down buried somewhere here. All right, Tidal Wave, you did great. Just make sure that you're protecting me at all costs from what is that? What is that? Nah, we're cool. Not scared at all. Nope, totally not scared. Buried treasure map lead me to the treasure. Okay, is it down here? I'm moving towards it. I think it's directly underneath me. This is a perfect time to use my mining gadget that I got in the last episode. If you guys haven't seen this yet, just, yep, give it a look. It is so overpowered, it's not even fair. We can mine all of this area around us until we find this treasure chest. I should probably be a little bit careful because I could accidentally mine the treasure chest. Normally, these things are somewhere in the water. There it is! I'm a genius! I knew it! Okay, let's check it out. Okay, we have a TNT, we have an iron sword, uh, a couple pieces of iron, and most importantly, we got the heart of the sea. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, next order of business. We need to somehow figure out where a whirlpool would be. I have absolutely no idea where I should be looking for this thing other than that it's probably somewhere in the deep parts of the ocean. I'm pretty sure whirlpools are actually formed in huge bodies of water like the ocean when there's a giant crack underneath of it. So there's a bunch of area for the water to travel. When that happens, and start swirling around basically like when you empty a bathtub. It's the same sort of physics. Except this one's gonna be a lot more powerful and supposedly if I feed it the heart of the sea, it will turn into a whirlpool monster. I do not want to fight this thing during the night, so we're just gonna go ahead back to camp and find a bed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in business. What is that? Good thing it died. Okay, don't want to look at that. Tidal wave, let's go find this whirlpool. Whoa! Oh, giant butterfly leviathan, ladies and gentlemen, right off over there in the distance. I maybe saw a whirlpool nearby, though, so I need to kind of just stay a little bit close. As long as it doesn't attack me, we shouldn't have a problem. But I saw a lot of bubbles over here. Are we dying? Are you, they're, they're, what's up with these piranhas, man? Get out of here, you petunias. See, look, over here, we have a ton of bubble particle effects, but I'm not entirely sure if that means this is the whirlpool. Bessie said I have to feed a whirlpool the heart of the sea, which makes me believe that the whirlpool is actually a living creature. Oh, we found the fishies. Hello, fishies. That's a big fish. Big fish. It's feeding. We're not gonna... Nope, not doing that today. We're just gonna let that thing do its thing. Oh, whirlpool. Whirlpool. Where's a whirlpool? Are you my whirlpool? You're just a drowned creature. You're just a piranha. And the kraken is back. I am not fighting two monsters in one day. Hold up, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a second. Something's sucking me around. Wait, these are the whirlpools. Hold up, hold up. Okay, okay. I need to just keep my distance. I need to clear the area of all the piranhas. Wait a second. There's a lot of these things. Look at them. They're just swirling bubbles. Okay. If what Bessie said is true, when I feed it the heart of the sea, it will turn into the monster. I don't want to accidentally get Tidal Wave killed. Let's go test this out. Okay. Let's just see. What does it do, bro? Oh my gosh, bro. It actually swirls you around. Okay. Let's try this out. So if I had to guess, we're going to throw it directly in the center in three, two, one. Did it work? What is- Oh! I'm inside of his mouth! No, 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 no. Crap, 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 crap. Dude, it's actually, I'm not doing anything. I literally cannot get it out of its mouth. Bro, 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 do I use my laser on it? No, 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 no. Let me wait, let me wait. I somehow just escaped it, bro. This thing is terrifying. Look at those teeth. Look at those choppers. This thing is crazy. I need to get away. I have to go back. I didn't think it was actually going to work, bro. That is straight from a nightmare. Look at that. It has like mermaid fins around its mouth and it's just a swirling pink creature of teeth. 
teeth. But this thing has to have some crazy drops. Let's get on Tidal Wave and check it out. Okay, we're just gonna do a quick little drive by. Or I guess just swim by and try to attack it. It's working. Tidal Wave is taking a lot of damage though, and so am I. Okay, we need to just keep going back. We're just gonna have to keep swimming by and trying to get some bites off. Oh, wait a second, I can electrocute it. This is perfect. Okay, okay, Tidal Wave needs to recharge us just a little bit. I forgot, I have the conduit on its head, so it's super powered. Let's see if it works again. We should be charged up. Whoa, it just threw me over to the air. Oh my gosh, We anytime we get close, we start getting sucked in by this beast. Okay, we're, we have electrocution powers once again. Let's go. Tidal wave can only do that for so long though. This is crazy. Okay, luckily it can't really move that far. Let's go try to get some bites off. Yes, yes, only like two more hits. Well, I'm getting sucked in slowly. I need to make sure to not get too close. Let's try our rat scythe. This thing is just not effective whatsoever. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's jump all the way into its mouth. Yo, come on, come on, we're so close. Tidal wave, no. We took it down. Wait a second. There's some drops here. Okay, Tidal Wave, Tidal Wave, you have to protect me. Tidal Wave lost a lot of health there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, I actually got an achievement. What a world. What did I get? I got a conch. I also got some sus stew. What is happening to Tidal Wave right now? Tidal Wave is freaking the heck out. Gonna be okay, Tidal Wave. Everything's okay now. I was honestly hoping that I would get some cookies, but ladies and gentlemen, this might be honestly better. Wait, 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 wait. what? What is this? Can I use it on anything? Oh, I can. So I can combine this with a magic feather and a conch with leather to make a bad of wind. On its own though, it looks like it's just an infinite water source. I actually think I might have a magic feather, so let's go head back home and see if I can craft the bag of wind. Oh, no, 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 this is their idea of a serenade. This is breaking my ears, please. Did I get all of them? Is there more? There's still more. These fish people have to stop trying to sing. Did I do it? I am so nauseated right now. It's not even funny. We have a creeper too. I am fighting a creeper while I'm, I, I can't even see. Still got him though. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it back home. Let's see if I have a magic feather lying around. We have two. Okay, perfect. We need that leather and the conch. So we put the magic feather on top, the conch in the center, and then surround it with leather to get the bag of wind. I'm really curious. What does this do? Whoa. I just got water breathing, speed, and dolphin's grace. So it really just is a bag of wind. It works in the ocean and also on land. That's actually kind of cool. I thought it was just going to be like a fart or something. Maybe it's like Zeus farted in a bag. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we completed Bestie's quest. If you guys did enjoy be sure to leave a like and also hit that subscribe button. That's gonna wrap it up on another day in Cookie Craft. My name is Beckbro Cookie Man Jack, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, dudes.